Hey everyone, Taylor here at The Leather Guy. Today we are going to be working with one of our die cut shapes, which as you can see here is fringe. There's a few options you can do with this. You can make earrings, make a keychain, uh, or a decorative fringe to hang from a handbag. You can layer them up as is, uh, apply them to the seam or edge of a piece. Whatever you can come up with to use for these, go for it. The sky is the limit. For this video, we're going to focus on making this into a traditional tassel earring. These steps are pretty much the same if you want to make a keychain, so follow these exact steps and just change the hardware at the end. Uh, so if you're going to roll this into a tassel, there are several ways to finish the top. You can use a uh, decorative cap that has your hardware already built in and place it over the top of the roll, uh, or you could wrap the top in a fine gauge jewelry wire. We are going to finish it with the leather we already have on hand. So we're going to take a pair of scissors over here and uh, we're going to snip off the very last strand. Once you have that piece of lace cut off, you can go ahead and just set that aside. You're going to go ahead and lay the rest of the piece flat out, suede side up, and we are going to apply our master cement at the very top of the piece where you're going to roll it. This cement works best when it's had some time to dry, uh, just a little, and get you know pretty tacky to the touch. Um, once we've applied the glue here, we're going to go ahead and start working on our top loop so that this has time to set up a little bit. All right, with our glue applied, we are going to take this little strand here and decide how long we want our loop to be. We don't want it to be crazy long, so we're going to go fairly small here. So that'll be about how long that loop's going to hang out the top, so we're just going to make a quick snip. And then we are going to apply the glue again just to the two far ends. You don't want to put it on the entire piece of lace because this is what's going to create the loop that your hardware will go through. So if you did the entire thing, you would seal it right up and you wouldn't be able to put your hardware through. Um, it may stick to your fingers just a little <laughs> when you're working on such a small piece, but that is a-okay. It's easy enough to get off your fingers. Um, so you're going to go ahead and let the loop dry just a hair, get a little tacky. Um, when it's ready to go, you would just fold it over on itself, and you can see we've got a nice little loop here. So what we're going to do is add a little more glue on the outside of the loop just so that we've got a bit of double adhesion here for the inside of the top of the tassel. So you're just going to press that into the glue that's already getting kind of dry in the top there and then once that's in you're going to go ahead and roll that tassel as tight as possible. So there you go. Once you have it rolled, you're going to let it dry a little bit. Um, we're going to grab a clothespin here just to hold it nice and tight while it sets. But as you can see, we clearly have the making of a tassel here. It's pretty much there. Um, while you're waiting, you can certainly start to add your hardware. Uh, take an open jump ring, slide it through your loop. If you're making an earring, you would add your ear hook here. Uh, if not, go ahead and just close that jump ring up because if you're making a key ring, you can put the king ring through here later um, and you'll be good to go. Okay, so we're going to let this dry for a little bit. We're going to come back and add some detail using what's left of the lace we cut off 
earlier. So we will be right back in just a moment. Okay, so now that we have this dry, you can see we have what I would call a finished tassel. Uh, if you want to add a little more dimension, we can use that leftover lace. Uh, if you don't like the look of this, you can finish it with anything your heart desires. Uh, stitch it, use wire, small jewels or crystals, totally up to you how you want to customize it. We're just going to show you how to make use of what we have in hand. So I'm going to take the lace and uh, I'm going to wrap it around the top of my tassel here. I'm going to line up the edge of it with the seam in the back from where I rolled it earlier and just figure out how long I need this piece of lace to be. So once I get it back here to this little seam, I know exactly how long it's going to be. We're going to grab the scissors and take a quick snip. and set that aside. So now we have this piece that'll be just our little decorative topper here. So we're gonna take our master cement and we are going to apply it to the tassel itself. Just a little bit right where we want to wrap the lace around and just kind of get all the way around there. Um, same thing as earlier, we wanna give it just a little time to get tacky to the touch. Um, if you get glue somewhere you don't want, it is really easy to remove it now while it's drying, so um, don't worry about getting it in weird places. <laughs> uh, go ahead and, and apply it to the back of the lace and uh, get that ready to go. Now normally we would wait a little bit longer for the glue to set, but for time's sake with this video, we are going to go ahead and apply it, well, right now. <laughs> um, so it's going to be the same thing. We want to take the lace, we're going to put it right on top of that layer of glue we put at the top of the tassel, and I want the seam in the little strip here to match up with the seam of the tassel. So I'm going to line those up, press those together. Um, the seam doesn't quite meet up perfectly, so I'm going to go ahead and add a little glue there, and that's going to allow me to merge the edges together so they don't flake up or, um, you know, kind of fly away and look a little weird. And uh, we're just going to clear away any overage of glue and then add our clothespin back to help keep everything in place while that glue sets. Um, once you have that back in place, you can kind of take a look at your tassel here and decide, do you want to leave it this long? Do you want to do it some different angles with it? Uh, I think today what I'm going to do is I'm going to shorten these a little, but I'm going to do them at varying angles and lengths just to give the tassel, you know, a little bit of movement. Even when it's sitting there, it'll look like it's doing something. So we'll just do a few little angled snaps here. I'm starting on the outside with the shorter parts, making the center pieces longer. We're going to work our way back up to shorter bits on the other side here. And I think this is just going to add a fun little detail to our tassel. Now if you like the length of it, you absolutely do not have to trim it. This is personal preference. If you want to do something a little different, go for it. Uh, you could also add a few little finishing touches here. You could dip the ends in paint. Uh, our Angelus glitter lights would be gorgeous on something like that. Um, these are super easy to customize and make them look any way you want. So with that, you've got a finished earring. Now all you have to do is create a second matching one. Um, or if you aren't making earrings, you're making decorations, uh, apply some different hardware up at the top there and you are on your way. So thank you so much for watching this today, guys. And if you make any, we would love to have you share them. Send them our way on social media.